fate of four Buffalo Public Schools on the table at a special meeting of the school board this afternoon, but that took a back seat, really, to tension and arguments between factions on the board. But after four hours, a conclusion finally reached. We get more now from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jason Grenauer. Well, Keith, we're talking about Bennett, East, Lafayette, and MLK, and with more than a thousand students' futures on the line here, sparks flew inside Buffalo City Hall today. Community Shame members upset after the board majority rejected using community turnaround plans for four failing Buffalo schools. But the contention was far from over. While discussing a different proposal, watch how things escalate when board member Carl Palladino confronts the board's legal counsel. Actions individually. That is not Don't talk to me like that. I'm talking to you. Don't you have no right to say Don't that. It was heated, uh, in, in some respects very, very troubling, but I guess I'm heartened by the fact that uh, we arrived pretty much at the place we began. A compromise that will phase out all four schools over the next four years, replacing Bennett with Middle Early College, a newcomer's academy at Lafayette, changing East to an alternative education building, and MLK to an annex for other Buffalo public schools. Devastated. As I said, 34 years, I really am devastated. I'm glad that they're not kicking the kids out. And as classes graduate, they just won't be replaced. Instead, the building will shift into the new school. We live for another day at Bennett High School. I was afraid that it was going to become the charter school proposal. Instead, the board asked the superintendent to come up with an inventory of other buildings to potentially be used for charter schools, an overall compromise Ogilvy says he can live with. If everyone is dissatisfied, you, you might have done something good. Um, and if everybody feels that they got something, uh, that's good too. Now, as for the superintendent himself, Ogilvy squashed the rumor that he would be replaced on April 1st and says he is under contract until June of next year. Reporting live tonight, Jason Grunauer, 7 Eyewitness News.